Well, hey everyone, it's Drunken Otaku here, and today we're acting to the second episode of Junai Taisen. Um, so, first episode, pretty standard death game. Um, did take a nice twist with uh, killing off the uh, narrator of that episode. Hopefully that's not going to be uh, an ongoing thing where we get, you know, something from someone's perspective and then they get off that episode. It gets too predictable that way. Um, so far, it's been okay. You know, uh, really good action sequences. Um, it is by Nisio Eason, so I, uh, you know, uh, I'm hoping to see some of his charm at some point here. <laughs> You know, uh, that's just what I'm kind of looking forward to. And if we get some of his charm, that could push it, you know, well beyond. We're going to start this off here in three, two, one. All right, so we're getting it from someone else's perspective. Let's see who we get. Dang. Holy crap, people are... All right, well, she's done. Uh, he's building a little army. All right, let's see whose perspective we get right now. All right. So we get monkey. Not a bad idea. All right, so rat. Hey, that's what I am. <laughs>
Oh, okay. Nice perception, buddy, and clever from her. Oh, wow. Okay. Mm. I bet they uh, may have decided to go with the poison route to circumvent things like that. <laughs> See, I thought he was the one that brought everything down. <laughs> yep. So no sympathy. Got it. Yeah, it is. Okay. Mm. Okay, okay. Eh, it's not, I mean, if it's, innate, if it's an innate ability, I don't consider it cheating. <clears throat> I mean, it's a pretty smart tactic. But whether anyone lets you do that is uh, a different story altogether. <laughs> Why is that the...
I'm digging her. I'm digging her. <laughs> That's got to be an axe. Yeah, she's just pretending to be, yeah. I mean, <laughs> that would be the smart choice. <laughs> well, that's useful. She's very talkative. I don't know. I, I can't tell if she's playing him or and pretending to be this way or if uh if she really is just really naive and a beginner. <laughs> Killing my pecking. Yeah, I don't think Rabbit's stupid enough, but he might know they're being he might not know they're being followed by the pigeons. I don't know. Rabbit seems crazy and crafty, which is a bad combination. Yet, wasn't he one of them that actually raised his hand for the, the peace proposal?
I mean, that's probably true. <laughs> Fair enough. <laughs> uh. See, she just got him to tell him her everything. I mean, everyone there is supposed to be an experienced fighter. Hmm. Yeah, that's the first one we want to get rid of. <laughs> I mean, yep, that's what I was saying. <laughs> So you're a moderate. Yeah, like I said, he's crafty and crazy, which is uh, a horrible combination. Okay, all right. Mm-hmm. 
Dang. Whoa. I guess there goes your uh, peace and <laughs> your idea for uh, getting together with the moderates. Look at all the birds. Yeah, like I said, I have a feeling she was playing him the entire time. I don't know, though. I don't know. She definitely wasn't expecting him to... Uh, he wasn't expecting her to crush his skull like that. Man, that was... <laughs> Done. Holy crap. She must be really, really strong. I mean, it was like, I guess there's two options. Basically, maybe she was, um, she really was green and didn't really have any control. And, uh, you know, uh, when he uh, did that, you know, kind of drove her over the edge. Or she played him the entire time, got him to tell her everything he knew. And she already knew about him. That's why she targeted him and stuck him out. And got the, uh, you know, manipulated him into giving her the power up. I don't know. Yeah, well, her eyes are back to normal. You're cutting a chick of a beef cleaver. Everybody clap your hands. Yeah, so yeah, that, that was a better episode than the first episode. Um, I liked how we got everyone's point of view and perspectives, um, getting a feel for all the characters. Uh, I'll be happy once it gets like trimmed down a bit and we can get like development with the characters. Um, yeah, so yeah, definitely uh, enjoyed this episode a little more than the first one. All right, well, this is Drunken Otaku. I am heading out for now. Please like and subscribe, and I will talk to you all later. Hey, everyone. This is the part of the video in which I shill for myself. I put it at the very end so you can easily skip it if you don't want to watch. All relevant links are in the description below. If you feel like supporting this channel, the best thing you can ever do is hit like and subscribe. But if you feel like taking it a step further, feel free to either follow me on my Twitter or join my Discord server. If you want to go plus ultra, I have a Patreon setup. If there's a show you want to see me react to that you don't think will ever win one of my polls, this is a great option. Finally, if you're planning on purchasing anything from Right Stuff or JList, I have links in my description that will kick back a bit of your purchase my way. And as always, I hope you have a great day.